baby, wait. Baby, baby, wait. You can open your eyes. This is it. This is now. This is what I'm going to do. My dearest Sarah, words cannot begin to describe how happy I am to be marrying you today. I have written you many letters, but none have been quite as special to me as this one is. We have talked about this day many times before, and now here we are. Our day has finally come, and I cannot express how happy I am that it has. Our love is beautiful. It is precious to me. And though I still cannot fathom loving you any more than I already do, I know that years from now, I somehow will, and what I currently know to be all-encompassing love and admiration for you will hard, hardly pale in comparison to how I will feel then. Sarah, you are a woman of great faith, charity, kindness, and love. No matter what distance has separated us, you were always present in my mind and in my heart. I promise to do everything in my power to make sure every day that you know that you are my most prized blessing, my most important and best thing, with the knowledge that every good and perfect gift comes from above. I am overwhelmed with gratitude to our God for gifting me you. For every trial, every hardship, success, choice, and kindship from our Heavenly Father that led me to you. That August day, over four years ago now, though I did not know then uh, what you would one day be to me, I knew, just as I know now, that you were special. I have admired you since that moment we met, and I am honored that a man so remarkable chose me to be his wife. Sarah, you are my everything, my home, my best friend, my inspiration, and my very best thing. Sarah Christine Agnes Hardy, I love you with all my heart. Thank you for loving me. With all my love, your husband. Ross, do you receive Sarah Christine as your lawfully wedded wife? And do you, of your own free will and choice, solemnly promise as her companion and lawfully wedded husband that you will cleave unto her and none else, that you will observe all the laws, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you receive Ross as your lawfully wedded husband? And do you of your own free will and choice sol solemnly promise as his companion and lawfully wedded wife that you will cleave unto him and none else, that you will observe all the laws, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live? I do. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. Soon, Ross and Sarah will be sealed together in the temple in the house of the Lord. These blessings I invoke upon you in, this, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may now kiss the bride.
I am honored to be your forever, your companion, your teammate, your home, safe place, biggest fan, best friend, and best thing, not only for the rest of my life, but for eternity. Happy wedding day, my love. I will see you soon. Sarah.